praise the Lord. Amen. Uh, we bless the Lord for this morning. Amen. It's a day of renewal. Renewal in everything concerning your life. Your family. Your business. Everything pertaining to you will be renewed. Now, now the children of Israel, when they heard this, what did Miriam do? Now look at you. Can you see? Dancing, moving, doing any kind of thing in prayer. It helps you to be energized and not to sleep. So do anything of what you heard. Tell the neighbor. Do anything of what you heard. Be, be excited. Be excited knowing renewal has come. Move around and tell somebody, go anywhere. your neighbor and you want to pray now. You are not designed to remain stuck in a situation. You are not designed to remain stuck in a situation. Louder. You are not designed to remain stuck in a situation. When, when you look at your life, why get stuck in a situation for too long? You are not designed by God to be like that. You allow the situation. You accept the situation. You have to change that situation this morning. Our natural instinct, human beings, we are constantly in rebirthing. That's why you will not be satisfied with one thing. You want to rebirth, you want to recreate, you want to do something. Hello. It's your prayer this morning as we are getting ready. You have to ask God something you have always desired but you didn't know how. You didn't know how. Let me tell you here this morning. What is prayer? Prayer is spiritual midwife. Midwife come to assist birth. Prayer come to assist you, your needs from God. What is prayer? Spiritual? Midwife. So talk to your midwife now what you're about to birth. Uh, 
La prière, I can't hear you. What are you going to who assist you in birthing? Who is your spiritual midwife? Offer prayer. Louder, louder. Louder, louder. Prayer, prayer. That thing should come forth. Hallelujah. Okay, you got a problem. Look, first, thank God for removing sleep out of your eyes. That's your problem now. You still, you still think you got sleep. God has removed sleep from your eyes. Thank God, as He is removing sleep from your eyes, He also assists you to remove stagnation from your life. Prayer. Prayer. In Jesus' name we have prayed. We have prayed. Psalm 36, verse 9. Psalm 36, verse 9. For with you is the fountain of life. In your light we see light. Again, please. For with you is the fountain of life. In your light we see light. Thank God for God loves you like his only child. While they're singing that song, thank God. Pendant qu'il chante, remerciez Dieu. That God loves you Parce qu'il like vous aime his only child. And he cares for you. Et il like the il only child he has. Parce que vous Prayer êtes le for you as a sin. Yes. Priez. How precious, oh Lord, is your unfailing love. We find refuge in the shadow of your wings. We feast, Lord Jesus, from the abundance of your house and drink from the rivers of delight. How precious, how precious, oh Lord. Yeah. 
you are that child before God Almighty. You are important and you are needed in this world. Go to five people and tell them, you are important and you are needed in this world. Again, again, go. How do that child of God look like, that daughter, that son of God? How do they look like and how do they feel? If this is how Miriam danced, it was going to not be recorded in the Bible. How is that child of God, that daughter, that son of God, feeling? You are not convincing yourself. Psalm 150 verse 6 reads, Let everything that has breath praise. Let me see that. find it very strange to include your body in prayer. Why? Your body is part and parcel of you. You, you only know your mouth in prayer. How about the body? Positioning and movement of the body while you pray is essential. Very, very essential. It's key. It will keep your mind alert. You walk around, you pray, you are praying everything with you. Now you have so much glued and used to traditional prayer. So that's why prayer is monotonous to you. Prayer is labor to you. Prayer is not an opportunity. It's labor. Because of the traditional way you have trained yourself. How will you awaken your mind? How will you open your heart? You just come here from home, whatever happened, and you come here, you are stuck again. How will your heart open? It's by movement of the body. Positioning of the body. And you don't have to look at anyone. You got your own life to live. And you, you know why you came. To renew yourself. Include, include 
your mouth. You are only involving your mouth in prayer. You are not including your whole entire body. Why? You are only including what? How about the entire body? So, let's see now. Because, like I said, Comme je dit, Psalm 30, verse 11. Psalm you have turned for me my morning into dancing. You know when somebody is mourning, can he behave like this? And God say, I've turned your mourning into...
God is changeless. Your prayers of today it's a must that you receive answer. For the first time in your life, this morning prayer will bring balance in your life. It will bring insight into your life. And it will bring tranquility in your life. So you want to pray now for your life, for this balance, insight and tranquility, as pray as if everything depends on God. Act as if everything depends on you. Pray as if everything depends on God. And act as if everything depends on you. Amen. She got it. She got it. When the light switches on, you understand the saying. Pray as if everything depends on God. Act as if everything depends on you. Because that way, you shall have answer. You shall have answer. I say you shall have answer. When, when you pray, let's read there together. So we are partner now for that issue because you are not created, designed to be stuck. Never, never. That's not God's design for you. I'm assisting you because some of you say it's God's will. It's not. No. You are not designed by God to be stuck. Stagnant. Stagnant. Stuck. Stagnant. No. No. You are God's child. When you look from God's side to your life, do you think God is happy? Now, how can you say you are made like this? Comment pouvez-vous dire que vous avez été créé ainsi? How? You've been rushing through life, thinking when I rush, things will change. It cannot change. Talk to your father this morning. Situation that you are stuck. Situation that you are glued. Situation that you are glued. Situation that you are failing to move. That's not you. That's not you. I'm telling you now, that's not you. You have accepted what does not belong to you. Tell your neighbor. You have accepted what does not belong to you. Again, please. You have accepted what does not belong to you. Because, like I said, this prayer you offer now, after having this wisdom and knowledge, it will bring answer into your life. Answer into your family. Answer into your commerce, business. Into your home. In your city. Country. And world at large. Your prayer this morning is very important. Tell your neighbor, your prayer this morning. Your prayer. Is very important. Is very important. Your prayer is needed. Your prayer is needed by God. By God to change, to change your situation. Your situation. Don't agree. Don't agree to your present 
situation. To your present situation. You receive an answer. You receive an answer. I'm not saying it to please you, but it's true. <laughs> Even if you don't believe, you believe when answer comes. Tell your neighbor. Even if you don't believe, you believe when answer comes. Again, please. Even if you don't believe, you believe when answer comes. Because God is a good shepherd. That's God. He can't leave you like this without answer. Never. Unless you have gone astray, far, far, far. But not taking the trouble coming, and here you are standing before God Almighty, giving him where you are stuck. And he says that you can go. <clears throat> it's not him. Like a shepherd, if a sheep is broken, he takes it, he puts it on the shoulder. God will put you to death. Turn for your celebration. Turn to wipe away sorrow, misery, sickness has come. Getting stuck means no progress. Eh? You are only wishing, but you are a child of God. It can be. There are children here. They know their mother, their father are stuck. Pray for your mother, father, whoever you are staying with. Pray for them. Pray for them. Your prayer today should be like the way Abraham did to Loti. When Loti was lost, Lot égaré, it was the first time God was challenged. La fois Can the righteous God kill everyone? Sure. Le, le That's your situation today. <laughs> Can the righteous judge, sure, leave me and my mother stuck like this? Ah. Huh? Can you, righteous judge, Really, really. That was the first time God was confronted. You are permitted to confront. Not why you are not. Can you, the righteous one, leave us like this? Can you, the righteous one, throw us like this? Can you, the righteous one, make Uncle bedridden for years? You should understand in that prayer of Abraham. He never mentioned Lot. But God heard him. There are people that you know. You don't know, you don't know them by name. But you have seen them suffer. You just say, Russia's God. That family in Ipopo. That family in Venda. That family in Soweto. That family I work with. Are you ready now? You, you are going to birth something that was not there before. I'm saying you're, the midwife will help you. Even when your prayer is weak, Midwife is there. Hello? Your desire might be weak. Midwife will strengthen it. So, do you know where you are stuck? Do you know people who are stuck? What and what? Do you know them? At the count of three, Jesus and offer prayer. One, two, three. Prayer. Prayer, that family, your family, yourself, children stuck in education, they can't go far. No school fees. Prayer, no work, no marriage, stuck. Prayer, no direction.
the only no pain and disappointment. Prayer. And stack them, oh Lord. Move them. Let there be movement, dear Father. Let there be movement, dear Lord. Prayer, 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 prayer. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let that family know joy also. Let that lady know joy. Let that man also experience joy. Prayer. Yes. Joy is their portion also today. Offer prayer on their behalf. They'll be answered. In Jesus Christ, much name, Jesus. we have prayed. Yes. We have prayed. Yes. Now is your turn. Votre you know area of your life where there's Vous darkness. Declare de light. De votre vie. In Vous your finances, de declare let there Déclarer be. In your health, declare let there Vous be. In your santé, pain, you declare let there be. Every area. Where you see darkness in your personal life, as it was on day one, it shall be so today. If this is your day one in your life, I say this is day one in your life. Tell someone this is your day one in your life today. This is your day one in your life today. There will be light. There will be light in every area of your life. In every area of your life, you speak. You speak. You speak. It shall be so. It shall be so. You speak. You speak. It shall be so. It shall be so. Prayer. Let there be. Declare, declare, speak. In Jesus Christ's name, we have prayed. We have prayed. Go to your neighbor and ask them, how are you feeling now? How are you feeling Discuss now? it, discuss it. Thank God. Those who got weapon, that is Bible, uh, please, those who got weapon, not walk up. That Bible, Bible, Holy Scripture. Les Let's turn to all of us who shall read. Nous lire ensemble. Together. Different versions, you can bring Venda Bible, uh, Sotu Bible, langues. Hebrew Bible. Uh, okay. Psalm 23. Psalm 23. Because this psalm voices your belief that God supports and nourishes you. Hello. That, so, 
When you are reading it, you are reading it because you are voicing your belief in God, that God supports me and nourishes me, even where the situation seems hopeless. God is your shepherd. God cares for you. And from today, believe that and God will always be providing for you. In Jesus' name. Let's all read together. One, don't read fast. Some of us, we did night school. So we should show love for one another. We should have central stage. All right? One, two, three. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the path of righteousness. For his name's sake. Yeah, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemy. Again? You prepare a table before me. In the presence of my enemy. Again and again. You prepare a table before me. In the presence of my enemy. One more time. You prepare a table before me. In the presence of my enemy. Uh -huh. You anoint my head with oil. My cup runs over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me. All the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Let them say, God has spoken for you. Tell your neighbor, let them say. God has spoken for me. God has spoken for me. He anointed my head with oil. My cup runs over. Votre coupe de bord. Shall follow me all the days of my life. And you. I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. <laughs> never thought you could be like this before. Can you see? Why were you writing yourself off? You are a child of God. Stop admiring others. Start with yourself. You are... Tell the neighbor. You are... Yes. Don't bring yourself down. God does not look at money. God does not look at car. God does, he looks at you. From you, he can do anything with you. Stop looking down on yourself. God is your shepherd. Do you know why you came here on us? Because you are important to him. Do you know why you are still living? Because you are important to him. It's not the situation you are in. No. Why is God still keeping you? Because you have not yet done what you, he created you for. That big thing is ahead of you. And you will do it. Amen. 
No one else. There is no need of jealous and envy. Nothing. That huge thing is there waiting for you. Abraham, when he was called by God, he said, Abraham, come, Abraham, viens. come, go forth. Viens. I'll tell you where you are going Je te dirai when you are vas. going. I'll tell you where you are going when you are going. Je te dirai tell you never. I'll tell you where you are going when you are going. Ah, I'm here to state for the first time in your life. God will not tell you your destination. Never. Those who say they have arrived, they are deceived. God never tells you your destination. Why? Because as you go, vision grows. So it's not what people are here have arrived at. No. God who just says that this. You don't know how far to go. Dieu va juste dire commencer ce, ce voyage. Vous ne savez pas pendant so why are you de temps troubled, bothered, Alors, that you are not doing this? You know? uh, just walk. Vous -vous? He will tell you where you are going when you start going. Just tell the river. He will tell you where you are going when you are on your path. So all of you now start Alors, walking. That's all. That's all. You're in a journey. It is God who knows where you have to reach. That's your spiritual life. That's why you can never reach climax in spiritual life. In spiritual life, you can't say I've arrived. When you're working for God, you can't say now this is my limit. No. Continue. Continue. Exercise your vision now like that. That's all. Continue. Hallelujah. Go forth. Go forth. Go forth. That's all. Go forth. You can never get stuck with God. You can never get stuck with God. You can't.
in this journey that God assigned every one of us, you will meet different people. It's not for you to hate them. It's not for you to call them names. We are commanded to love. In whatever situation we we'll find ourselves, whatever has happened to you, whatever people do to you, God, Jesus said, love. Don't speak bad. No. Here you are now. There are different people here. Go to break this ego, to break this hurt, to break this pain. Go to to break this 27. Go to 27 people and say to them, I love you with the love of the Lord. 27, to break that power in you. Then you start loving people. Because some of you at three, you feel like stopping. No, no, no. 27, to break it. No, no, no. Hold on, hold on. I don't just, already like this one. You just, I love you. With the Lord. No. You look in the eyes when you love someone. You appreciate them. They are God's creation. When you love, you take time. Train yourself to love people, anyone created in the image of God. If God loved this person, that means this person is important to God. I may not know it, but because God loves him, I, like the Father, will love you too. Not, I love you, like the Lord, love. Okay, love you. No. If, when they do that to you, you say, no, this is not love. You tell them, no, you can help them. You know, a lot of people, that's where our downfall is. When you don't love, why should God bless you? Why should he? That's the only breakthrough you want to have here for your home to have abundance. For your business to rise up. For God's purposes to start flowing in you like a river. Start now. Spend one to two minutes per person up to 27. There's nothing to rush. You should smile. And some of them you should be honest. I didn't like you before. No, you are being honest. You are helping yourself. So that one should not say, ah, so you hated me. Say, Look, we are not here to argue. I just want to tell you. So listen, uh, that's all. And uh, now, because God said, I love you, it's a commandment. You know a commandment whether you like it or not. That's why I'm here. That's it. Jesus said it. A new commandment I give unto you. That you, and then through love one another, the world will know that you are Christ's disciple. This ministry, may people know that God loves us and we are Christ's disciple. Not because we carry a Bible. If necessary, we shall use the Bible. But our life should speak. So we are going to start practicing that now. Thank you. Start now.
we all thank God that the evil has been destroyed. Yeah. Prayer. Evil has been destroyed. May we continue with this love to our homes, to our neighbors, wherever we stay. May we be known as men and women of love. In Jesus Christ's name. Yes. Thank you for watching. This message is available on CD and DVD at the Impact for Christ Ministries bookshop.